Good morning, my fellow brothers and sisters. Don't mind me, I have had some sort of cold since uh, Thanksgiving of last week. It's the one that kind of like, the mucus builds up when you're sleeping at night. And then your nose gets clogged, and then you're just like getting up to blow your nose every like hour or so. Yeah, so that's why I look, my eyes look more puffier than usual. But right now I feel good because once it turns morning time, it's like your nose clears up and everything. So I did want to share a word with you. And it's going to be found in Exodus chapter 23. And just know that your life matters. God does see what is going on. And it's only a matter of time. It may have been years. And you know, it, it it has been something that if you look at it, God has developed you. You're not dead. You're still living. You may not be as strong, but even though your body may be physically feeling like not as strong as when you were in your 20s or when you were younger. If you are in your 20s, then I mean when you were younger. Your spirit is getting stronger. And your spirit, man, that God gave you compensates for the your lack of strength physically. You are now living by God's Holy Spirit. If you are a believer in God, Jesus. Exodus chapter 3. Do not pass along false reports. Do not cooperate with evil people by telling lies on the witness stand. Do not join a crowd that intends to do evil. When you are on the witness stand, do not be swayed in your testimony by the opinion of the majority. And do not slant your testimony in favor of a person just because that person is poor. And it continues to say, And if you come upon your enemy's ox or donkey that has strayed away, take it back to its owner. If you see the donkey of someone who hates you struggling beneath a heavy load, do not walk by. Instead, stop and offer to help. Do not twist justice against people simply because they are poor. Keep far away from falsely charging anyone with, e with evil. Never put an innocent or honest person to death. I will not allow anyone guilty of this to go free. Take no bribes or a bribe, for a bribe makes you ignore something that you clearly see. A bribe always hurts the cause of the person who is in the right. Do not oppress the foreigners living among you. You know what it is, what it is like to be a foreigner. Remember your own experience in the land of Egypt. Plant and harvest your crops for six years, but let the land rest and lie fallow during the seventh. Then let the poor among you harvest any volunteer crop that may come up. Leave the rest for the animals to eat. The same applies to your vineyards and oil groves. Olive groves. Work for six days and rest on the seventh. This will give your ox and your donkey a chance to rest. It will also allow the people of your household, including your slaves and visitors, to be refreshed. Be sure to obey all my instructions and remember, never pray to or swear by any other gods. Do not ever mention their names. All right, my brothers and sisters, this is for you, empowered individuals. Anybody going through some sort of legal trouble, God is watching. God is there. You may even be in jail right now. You may be even um, suffering consequences that you didn't do, you know, or people made up stories and, you know, it's just... You never knew this type of wickedness existed because you only heard about it and you never thought that you'd be one of the people having to live through something and see how something, how the law takes part. And you just say, it's, it's not scary to you. It's just, it's scary to see that we're living in a world that has a system that claims it works. It's supposed to be of the law, but yet it's going after a lot of innocent individuals and making them into criminals, trying to make them into criminals so that they can get a pat on the back, they can get a promotion, they can get some extra money in their account. And my friends, this has been going on forever. 
And this was one of the, the statutes that God gave his people, yeah. Israel, to make sure that they don't fall in this secular way of doing things, giving bribes, you know, uh, following the crowd. We're supposed to be enlightened by the most high God. The light of the Lord, the oil of God, the oil of the spirit of the Lord is supposed to make us see that if somebody is at wrong, you don't take away due process. You don't make their situation worse by taking money, by taking bribes. And you know what? Some people get away with that because they're going to be like, what? Who took a bribe? What are you talking about? They're going to cross their little arms, look at you and rub their nose and say to keep silent. All right, this is the type of place, this is the type of um, system that we have going on today, is that there's like a bodyguard protection program for people in power. And when they break the law, they hire these assassins, all right? They hire these programs, and they're integrated with good and bad people. And the majority are not good people. They're ready to pounce on anybody they get a chance to pounce on and rip apart. But the word says, do not pass along false reports. He's talking to the majority, to those who are supposed to be doing the right thing, going by the law. Why? Because most of us, like me and you, we don't have access to make the decisions. We don't have the money to be doing or buying lawyers or learning about the law. We're normal citizens. We're working citizens. We're the working class. And God is telling the people not to take advantage of them. Don't join the majority. Don't think that if, if everybody else is doing it, he's telling us clearly, don't join the group because they are wrong. And just because they are all agreeing to accuse a person, raise false testimonies, and even pay to raise false testimonies, like, don't do it because at the end of the day, God is going to judge. And man is not going to judge each other. The law is going to cover up for the law if it's corrupt. And so it says, do not pass along false reports. Do not cooperate with evil people by telling lies on the witness stand. Do not join a crowd that intends to do evil, like a crowd. If people are being asked around the community, hey, help us watch somebody. Let's mess with them. You know, let's spy on them. Let's, let's just throw all their dirty laundry out there and embarrass them for the rest of their life. God's saying, don't do it. Don't do that. He's like, I don't care who it is. If it's the big, who it is. He's not telling us, oh, be obedient to the to the law right now. God is telling us, don't do it. You know, people use that, that Bible phrase about um, bowing down to the law and the authority, even if you know they're wrong. A call for justice, my friends. It's in the prayer of the people. If you know something is wrong, you pray about it. You tell God, look, I know it's wrong. I don't need the law to tell me that what they're doing is good because I clearly know by the word of God what they are doing is beyond inhumane. It's beyond. It's despicable and an abomination in the eyes of God, regardless of whether you think someone's guilty of something or not. Does not give people the right to abuse a person's mind or their 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 well their way of living. It says, and do not slant your testimony in favor of a person just because that person is poor. When they say poor, they're not just talking about financially. They're talking about whether you don't think they're good enough. Don't slant your testimony in favor of the majority, of the bigger party, of the stronger party, of the more powerful people, just because you think you're doing what they want and you're going to get rewarded. Like, they're God. He's like, they're not God, so don't honor them. Don't worship them like they're God. In that moment, you have to you have to praise and worship God for the wisdom and the discernment how to go about these type of things, because God is clearly saying, do not twist justice against people simply because they are poor. Don't twist the justice. Don't falsely charge somebody just to make money. To all my fellow targets, I love you very much. Be well and be empowered.